beings, children of light, children of the Most High. Hallelujah. All glory to the Most High. So, I'm doing some reading, rereading, and I, was, I came across, I'm rereading um, the wisdom of Solomon, right? And I'm in chapter 18, and as I was reading, I had these questions. <laughs> Um, come up in my Ruach and so I just wanted to share it so chapter 18 um, verse 7 says so of thy people right whose people Yah's people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous and destruction of the enemies and so when I read that it made me think about the scripture that says um, I think it is who can I actually instead of trying to do that I'll just tell you I know it's in First, might be Corinthians. I could be lying, so let me fact check my sizzle. Okay, yes, First Corinthians chapter two. For who among men knows the thoughts of a man except the man's spirit within him? And it goes on, as you know, or maybe you don't, but to talk about how we know the mind of our Abba through the Holy Spirit. And so. When I read that, I thought about that, and I was like, Abba, you know what I mean? A lot of times we see people, and we're quick to say, oh, so-and-so died too early, or they didn't deserve that, or this. a man's heart is deceitfully wicked, who could know it, except for our Abba, right? And so not to say that those situations or circumstances in which they happen aren't sad, or, and, I, and I'm leery to say sad because... Y'all told Aaron he better not cry when he kill his children because of their wickedness. And so it's like when you know that people are moving against the ways of our Abba, they're moving as the adversary. And as the adversary, you have to fall, right? And so it's like we have to move with this understanding and this knowledge that Yah is righteous, right? And his righteousness is just, okay? Yah is righteous, not right by us. Do you get, Does that make sense? He's righteous in everything that he does. But his righteousness does not have to be um, right by us. And so, as I continue on to read, right? Um, for where with you, where it says thou, but it's talking about Yah, saying that Yah did punish our adversaries, but at the same time, he did glorify us whom he called, right? And that's verse 8. But verse 9, it really stuck out to me. It says, for the righteous children of good men did sacrifice secretly behind closed doors not necessarily what we do in front of people although that is i want to say just as important well you know what if what you do behind closed doors is true and just and right before the eyes of our abba what you do in front of people will mimic it will reflect that in what you do in private and so at least it should and so when i read this and i was thinking about you know what i mean like how yeah was talking about yesterday with people trying to prophesy and seeing what other people do and trying to kind of like join in almost like graph themselves in and so i was like abba the things that we do in secret are the things that we do between us and you you and us you know not letting our le our left hand know what our right hand is doing not trying to look sorrowful when we're fasting so that other people can ask us questions about fasting um all of the things right and so that's a part of being set apart and that's what cause, causes us to be considered the righteous children of good men, sacrificing secretly and with one consent. Excuse me. One consent made a holy law. Do you know what a holy law is? That's a covenant. And it got me to thinking, I was like, Abba, covenant is a holy law. And I said, and it's people out here who consider themselves upright, just like upstanding citizens. They wouldn't dare run a red light stop and roll on at a stop sign like they think you crazy for picking up your phone like adamant about adhering to man's law and then the ruach just kept going and i was just like oh he was like y'all be swearing up and down like y'all y'all voting because people died for that ability and that right to vote so how dare you not vote but i'm thinking about yoshua hamashiach was brutally murdered like slaughtered for real and you don't have that type of adherence to him like you you make sure that you vote not only just like for the presidential but you like in your community 
you looking at the Senate like you're going crazy. And it's wild because it's just like you vote so hard and go so hard for the people, these politicians, who you don't even know. Like, y'all be really, like, upset. Like, no, so-and-so wouldn't do that. They are they they really are an advocate for X, Y, Z. And it's crazy because I'm just like, yo, you can just tell who didn't pay attention in civics class in middle school and who has absolutely no clue about electoral college. And, I mean, the electoral yeah, electoral college and legislative branch and judicial and executive, like y'all didn't pay attention because if you did, not only would you be so, you wouldn't be so adamant in about voting, but you also would have a perspective on these people that you so-called know. And so at this point, like it's just me and the Holy Spirit and we're talking and I'm just like, oh yep, yeah, you know, that's crazy. Like they wouldn't dare break one of man's laws, but when it comes to our Abba, right? And his laws, his holy laws, because that's what a covenant is. He says, I made a covenant with myself and you and your children who are not even here right but you don't even teach your children about Yah's word but you teach them about the laws of this land and make sure that they know like make sure that they know the laws of the land but you don't make sure they know the laws of our Abba and you also have absolutely no problem with saying Yah is the same yesterday today and tomorrow and forevermore and he never changes except when he's talking about holidays that's back then except when he talks about what you should eat and what you shouldn't eat that's back then except when he talks about when he's not playing with people and he'll kill you that was back then but outside of that as long as he's in the jurisdiction of your now then he's still the same yesterday today and tomorrow but a law is established right like if you run a red light like that's a ticket like that it just is what it is and you could contingent on the situation you could go to jail because it could be reckless endangerment reckless driving but our other laws is like contingent on how you feel contingent on what you're comfortable with and i was just was thinking about that and so i wanted to share that and you know what i mean Hopefully it gets you to thinking about what it is that you do. Like, not just when it comes to law, especially when it comes to law, but like, bro, you don't read the Bible of the God you say you serve and you have absolutely no, like, you don't even know what this is. You don't know what it is. And if you do know what it is, you, you kind of shun it like, no, where did it come from? Who wrote the first Bible? What does it say on the front pages? of your bible does it say anything about who wrote it the publishing company have you ever looked up the publishing company who are those people what is the original language of the bible of the god you say you serve does it what what does catholicism have to do with the bible of the god you say you serve and why were things taken out and what does canonical and non-canonical mean like y'all there's nothing in you that wants to know more about our Abba and that's why you cut off. There's nothing in you that wants to know more about our Abba and that is why you are cut off. You have no desire, no yearning, no longing. He says seek and you're not willing to seek him at all. Like if you, you have this, if he doesn't drop it right here in my lap, oh well. I'm just going to go with the flow, go with the flow of things. There's no sense of urgency in you that causes you to say, you know what? I need to know more about this God I say I serve. This God my family has been talking about. This God that, like I had a lady really tell me that although she knows Jesus' birthday isn't on Christmas, it's all about giving in the spirit of his birth. And I said, well, where does it say that oh i know it doesn't say that in the bible but you know what it does say in the bible stop celebrating these pagan holidays but how can you say anyway i just i don't i just have a lot of questions in my rule and they aren't questions that i'm like trying to nitpick at people because i come from celebrating christmas and thanksgiving and easter and all of these things but when i was a child i thought as, as a child but as i grew up and mature i put away childish things my mother didn't have to come and teach me this because i went and looked for it for myself i want to look for it for myself there has to be some seek about you there has to be something in you 
something intrinsic, okay? Nobody can mold that self motivation has to there has to be a calling in you. But that's what our Abba says. Before you were formed in my in your mother's womb, I knew you and predestined you. And some of y'all, some of us, some of we have been pre predestined for demise. Because y'all knew when we got here, before we even got here, that we would not seek him with our whole hearts. We would be doing a whole lot of lip service and satisfied with lip service, knowing that we're only doing lip service. It's like, you know, you know, you don't live righteously throughout the week. You know, you don't, you know, you don't take y'all's word serious. You know, you don't take time to read y'all's word. You know, you know, you don't, but yet you still play this game. It's a game, the voting game. You play that game and it's odd to me how comfortable Yah's people are with playing games with him knowing that the only rules to the game are to seek him and obey him but yet you want to come and start adding and it's like you got double stacks and you took it take it uno and take backs and <laughs> stop playing with y'all for those of you <laughs> Who, who still have the opportunity. Seek Yah while he is yet still to be found. Hallelujah. Shalom. May the most high bless you. Keep you all connected to you. May you know love. May you know joy. May you know peace. Most importantly, may you know our Abba. Shalom.